praise God and by the names of Mr. Praise, my love, love is on God's servant. And it is me, God has granted the grace to be sharing with you today. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for your holy presence. We want to thank you for this time. For the scriptures say that we walk circumspectant, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the times, because the days are evil. We want to thank you that we are here listening to this message, redeeming time. We want to thank you for the shining light that you have brought us through your word. You are lifting up our burdens from our lives. We thank you for this good day. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So today I've been given a theme that is identity in Christ. That is what we are going to share. That's what we are going to look through. So let's go into the word. Be blessed. So when we speak of identity in Christ, identity it is like Chivanga Chikula, Moruganda Chiva Chikula, identity Chiva Chikula Chiamu, Chichori Mokwisto, Nomtogu Tuwele Dora Leo. When you look through John, John Yatugamba, we are children of God. Fabamu Kiriza Netulokoka, Tulivana Baka Tula. This is what John speaks. He says in John 1, chapter 1, verse 12, that, but as many as believed him, to him, to them, he gave right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, I will to them that believed his name. So it is not everyone, but to them who believed in his name. So, Chikweta so kubanga waloko kubango in identity of embala ya Christo mungu. Mwa ino ulambwa Christo mungu na mungu. But when you look through Romans, Romans are to be able to live a fuzi wa mune Christo. We are heirs of God. Engeri jetu li avana, to live a skeda. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 to 17, so we'll summarize. E gamba, the spirit himself, wano moyo mtu kuve ya liya a testifying and agam, that we are with, that the spirit himself bears witness of our spirits, that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Here the spirit testifies that we are heirs of God. Wali joni atudambe tulibana vani bakatona. Then Romans is a jana to be a chamitiana. To a tuba van, to live a tuba van, to forfeit a dollar, basica woman of Christo. Cutting Yagara Gaze Gazeco got a bin trail, Polan Pola Watch, or to Gazaco take our sea, or Sindhi, so look mania, what is your identity in Christ? Or did you away your identity in Christo? You obey Rana. The Bible says that we are family, we are part of God's family that we are God's family. In Ephesians 2.19, we can read there, the Bible says that therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the house of God, that we are God's family. I'm trying to build that and lay a foundation to show you that your identity, to show you where your identity comes from, that you are part of God's family. You are part of that great move. Everything God has, you have a portion of it. Everything here on earth, you have a portion of it. Whether powers, whether what, whether life to live, you have a portion of it. Because we are joint heirs with Christ Jesus. It is only given to those who believed in his name. We are only complete in Christ. That is Colossians. Colossians at Gamba, we are only complete in Christ. Without Christ, we are nothing. Without Christ, it is only in Christ where we get our life. It is only in Christ where we are complete. Our legalism is in Christ, not in any other thing. It is in Christ alone. After you understanding that you are a joint heir with Christ. Okay, after you understanding that you have an identity that is like of Christ, you have an identity he moves with glory. Whenever he moves, he moves with realms of power. Whenever he moves, he moves with influence. Christ, we are 
that time, he worked with these pre disciples, but he always moved with influence in life. He always moved with healing. He always moved with manifestation. When we move, principalities know that we are here. And by God's grace, principalities of this social media, they know that we are here. Because we bear that identity of Christ in us. I have that identity of Christ in me. It is only that we don't know that we have, a, we have a Christ life to live. We have a Christ move in us. The Bible has said that we are complete in Christ. Everything that we have, it is complete in Christ. The Bible has said that we are ambassadors. The Bible has said we are citizens of the heavens. Now, uh, I will need to explain about who is an ambassador and who, who is a citizen so that you can understand that the identity you bear, the identity you have. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians 5.20, it says, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. So that means every place that we go, we represent Christ. So that every place we reach, we represent Christ. When we go to school, we are representing Christ. In every area, in every aspect, in every sack of life that we reach, we have Christ in us. We have a Christ life in us. Philippians speaks of our citizenship, that our citizenship is not here. It is in heaven. Ambassador, your moon to Achekirida Ekwanga. Bible to Gambia, we are ambassadors for the kingdom of God. To representing Akatunda Wanukonsi. We are representing the kingdom, the entire kingdom. If anyone wants to know what is in the kingdom of God, when they behold you, they know who God is. They know forgiving. They know healing. They know everything about the kingdom of God. You are a chosen one. You are a representative of God. Now you start to, un to, to understand the identity that you have in Christ. After you knowing that you have a Christ life in you, I assure you, that's why you not understand the identity of Christ in you. You are a Christ life 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 in you. You are a Christ Blessed, blessed is the man that walks not in the castle of ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in the law of the Lord that he meditate day and night. Day and night. Day and night. Awele duo mutisa, o yatata amulira mumakubo gababi. No, in, no stands in the ways, in the paths of sinners. Ni wakuwa do kutula na haba haba geya. This is what the, this is what the heavens believe that you should have. Mwabagwe mwabula mwote kedu wa kubeda angulina, mwugendo mwurogro kusi. Second Corinthians 5.17, it sets a standard for us that if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Behold, the old things have gone out. Now all things have become new. That if you are in Christ, you are a new creation. Old things have gone away. Your name is the one who It is all past. I was a drunkard. Now that is all in past. I was a fornicator. Now that is all in past. I was one who used to masturbate. Now that is all in past. I have a new life to live. I have a new life to present to these people that they should know Christ. Now that I have the identity of Christ, how am I supposed to walk? Now that I have the identity of Christ, am I supposed to be going back to take alcohol? Hey, the Bible said, all things have become new. This is 2 Corinthians 5.17. That all things have become new. Your age has become new. Your dress code has become new. After you knowing that you are a new creation in Jesus Christ, you start to live a life of standard, purity, and balance. 
There is a standard There is a stand on the stand. What the two what the truly worship, but we have a kingdom that we are representing. That kingdom it has a stand on which it stands. That is purity. They have balance in all that they are doing. After you knowing that you are a son of God, after you knowing that you behold, after you knowing that you carry the presence of God. Sons of God don't fornicate. We are greater than fornication. Sons of God, we don't steal. We are greater than stealing. That is the identity we have. In our generation, we need to reach at a level when Christian or young men or youth, they have a standard of life they live. And that is Christ. Life, a changed and transformed life. The heavens, this is what they have on, this is what they have in, in, in the books of record. That you a son of God. The sons of God, they don't do adultery. They are greater than adultery. Sons of God are greater than sin. They don't sin. Sons of God, don't steal. Don't, don't lie. Every wicked thing, every last of flesh, sons of God are greater than that. So if you start to see yourself in that line, you start to live a life of Christ. You start to live a life that is changed, a life that is transformed. Because this is what is, this is what we carry. But it is only that when we came here on earth, now we are compromising with the standards of the kingdom. We think we can live anyhow we want. I'm, here, I'm not here to condemn anyone. But I'm here to remind you of your identity in Christ. How can you be a daughter of God and you still walk out fornicating? The heavens know that you are greater than fornication. The heavens know that you are greater than that. This is what is written on us. The heavens know that you are greater than jealousy. Jealousy is not in us. For us, we are greater than it. We live a life that is above, a life that is transformed. We live heights in heavens. If you don't know your identity in Christ, you will suffer in life. You will live a life that is not transformed, a life that has no influence in it. You know, the funny thing is that we don't know our life. We don't know what is written on us. Because the Bible says, in Jeremiah that God has good plans for us each and every one who comes here on earth they have good plans for you how you are supposed to live your life not as you but as the heavens want everyone they know at the age of 23 you must walk a life transformed representing Christ it is because you don't know what you are carrying how comes that you come into an area where men are there sitting? They say, in this area, you don't do business and you excel. And yet the Bible says you are blessed. Sons of God are blessed. That is, that is our identity. We are not bragging. When I reach into an area where they say there is no one who works out here and succeeds, may I stand in, in scripture? That is Ephesians 1, 3, that blessed be the Lord our God who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. I'm blessed. That is my ability. I'm not bragging. It's because you don't know your identity. That's why you're still, that's why you're still working a life of suffering. That's why you're still working a life, a life like other people do. Sons of God, we carry life. We carry life in now in us. We carry, we carry healing. Matthew 10, 1, the Bible says that we given power to heal all diseases. we given power to heal all man of sickness. That's what we have. It's only in this generation where men brag that they are apostles and they cannot heal diseases. It's only in this generation where men, they want to carry, they want, they want that they carry for them books. Ah, pastor, pastor. Yet they don't have life in them. 
But our identity is that we carry life. We speak spirit. That is our identity. We don't brag. Sons of God are warriors. Psalms 100, Psalms 144 verse 1, it speaks of us that we are warriors. We have been equipped. Sons of God, we don't fear to be witched. Because we carry something greater than meat. We carry something greater than sorcery. No weapon fashioned against us can prosper. We the sons of God. It is identity. We have known our place in the spiritual realm. We have known our place in this world. That's why we still stand. Wherever we go, we excel. It is written. Wherever we go, we prosper. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou meditate in it day and night. In that way, it will make your way prosperous and successful. It is already, it is already written in, in my diary. In the book of the life I, I should live, I have to live a prosperous life. I have to live a successful life. When you reflect, you will find that you have not even moved an inch to that prosperous life. You are still struggling with life, but you don't know your identity. It is very sad that we, the sons of God, we don't know our identity. We just accepted Christ to be our Lord and Savior, but we don't know what we are when we are with when we have Christ in us. Me, this is what I tell myself. In every place that I go into, I carry light. In every place I go into, I carry God. They must see the God I serve. In every place I go, I carry healing. Because it is written that I carry healing in my life. Sons of God are accepted. They have that acceptance in them. We, were, we are chosen. You know, a word to a wise is always enough. Today I've come here to remind you about your identity in Christ. That when you got saved, you didn't just receive Christ alone, but you received a life of Christ in you. For the scriptures say that if anyone believes in me, the works I do, he will do. Greater works than this, he will do. We, 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 we have that in writing, we have that in the law, that we can do greater works than that what our master is said or what he did when he was still living here. But it is only in this generation where men just sleep around, they are weak to pray, they are weak to fellowship. How will you find out that you have a Christ life? Start today. Go before the Lord. Tell him, Lord, you are my Savior. The scriptures have said that I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus. So, whatever Christ has, whatever power Christ has, that I hold, that I have. Start to live a Christ life, but that life they build it when you go down on your knees to pray. Father, I want to pray with someone who has known his or their identity and they want to start to live a life of Christ and change and transform a life that is yours. May you give them the grace. May you give them the power. May you give them the anointing that they may walk as sons of God ought to walk. That they may live a life that is above. That they may live a life that is greater than sin. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Continue to share. Continue to subscribe. Like. Be blessed.